this so bad like actually i don't think i've felt this ugly all winter so far love it i can't believe i'm on the internet like this but my birthday is in two days i have two different birthday trips planned and i'm not going into them looking like this i absolutely refuse it's like the dead of winter it's like the final stretch you know spring should be creeping up soon but i live in wisconsin so it's probably gonna be like three more months of cold i have not seen the sun in way too long my skin is as white as the wall behind me. My hair hasn't been washed all week for some reason. Also, you can't see my pants right now, but I'm literally wearing like Christmas pajama pants with this neon pink sweatshirt. Makes no sense. I'm not eating it up right now. I have a little notebook here with all of my glow up plans, my B-Day glow up plans. First, I need to take an everything shower. We need to shave, we need to exfoliate, we need to wash, we need to deep condition, and then we'll do some hair care. We might do some skin care, face mask, that type of thing. I need to whiten my teeth. I want to pluck my eyebrows, dye my lash and my brows and then I have a nail appointment at 2 15 and then I'm going to self tan tonight wake up tomorrow be able to do my hair do my makeup look all cute and hopefully we'll be glowed up first step is to take a shower because I feel absolutely disgusting lather my entire body in this Nivea body lotion. This is one of my favorite body lotions for after the shower. It is just so moisturizing. I'm gonna do it off camera just so I don't flash anybody and then I'm gonna put my robe on so again I don't flash anybody. I have this super annoying thing that I do where I don't ever finish a product. Like I will always leave a little bit of product left in the tube. For some reason I have like a fear of running out of a product so I just never allow myself to go all the way through it unless I already have a backup bot. And as a lot of you guys know Oh, I'm moving really soon, so I'm trying to go through I'm trying to go through and finish all of the products that I have just like a little bit left of So I'm not using my normal hair products today just because I really want to get through all of these The next thing that I want to do is whiten my teeth. This is the teeth whitener I've been using for years I've never really done anything other than this besides just like regular whitening strips It's a really inexpensive teeth whitener and I feel like it actually works like even just using it one time I can see a difference. I don't know if it's just placebo, but I feel like it does it just comes with with this little tube of gel and then it also comes with like a mouthwash you're supposed to use after to kind of rinse it I just put the whitening stuff in my little plastic retainers and I feel like it works perfectly fine and then like I said it's five minutes speed whitening you can leave it on for five minutes for just regular whitening or you can leave it on for 15 to 20 for like badly stained yellow teeth it says I always do it for like 20 minutes because if I'm gonna take the time to do this I'm gonna get the best results out of it I don't know if that makes sense everybody always asks like what do you use what do you do and honestly I think just Genetically, I just have really white teeth like I take good care of my teeth Like I have really good dental hygiene, but I don't really take a lot of time to like whiten them or do any of that Obviously right now I am just because I'm glowing up or whatever, but I don't do this that often I'm not gonna want to talk once I have this in because it's a little bit disgusting But I'm gonna pluck my eyebrows while I have this sitting on my teeth So that's what you're gonna see after I put these in <laughs> It's really gross, but it works. Okay. Set a timer for 50 minutes Okay, I can't do the towel on my head anymore. I also just realized that I haven't shaved my face in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and dermaplane or whatever it's called. I really don't know what it's called. Okay guys, I shaved my face. I know this doesn't look like a lot of hair. Um, it's really not. Sometimes there's a ton, sometimes there isn't much. Ew. Sorry, but my face feels a lot smoother and my unibrow is gone and I kind of also like shaped up the top part of my eyebrow I've got a minute 33 left until I can take this disgusting stuff out of my mouth and rinse my mouth out I'm not enjoying it, but it's worth it went and rinsed off the teeth whitener I think my teeth look a little bit whiter. I don't know if you can tell I think I want to do a face mask my skin has been Knock on wood pretty good recently, but there is still some problem areas and overall like I just feel like I could do something to make it better This is the caudally instant detox mask and I just feel like it does amazing things for my skin So I'm going to apply some of this Now that I look like a tomato, I'm gonna wait five to ten minutes to rinse it off I know some people don't agree with like the concept of like 
why sorry i don't know why the lighting did that some people don't agree with like the idea of a 24-hour glow up which i personally do because as you guys have seen time and time again i keep posting videos like this and it's not even that my appearance is really gonna change much but i think the reason that i like these 24-hour glow ups so much is because i just spend so much time doing self-care and like putting time into myself which i feel like sometimes we can forget to do or sometimes you know we're just so busy that we can forget to just like sit down and do little things that are going to make us feel put together it's not so much that i'm gonna look completely different hopefully i do look a little bit different and i can kind of step up my game a little bit for my birthday but it's really just about the self-care aspect and how good it makes you feel while you're in the process of doing it this face mask is so weird it's like dry okay i went from being a tomato to being even paler than i was before somehow and now it's really scaring me so i'm gonna turn the camera off it's only been a few minutes since i talked to you last but i wanted to show you my skin it feels so weird it just gets so like dry and crusty but then when I rinse it off my face feels moisturized somehow like I don't know how it's dry it's it doesn't make sense I put a little bit of moisturizer on my skin just so that it's not super dry right now But I'm going to move on to my suspicious Ziploc bag that is always a part of these glow up videos This is my eyebrow and eyelash dye I desperately need to get a new thing of it because the box is gone Everything is dirty and disgusting, but it still works So I've just been rolling with this a little bit ago I posted a tiktok explaining how I dyed my eyelashes and eyebrows and so many people on my tiktok asked for like an in-depth tutorial So I'm not gonna walk you guys through it. I'm gonna walk Walk my tiktok through it so today i'm gonna be looking over here when i talk through it just in case you're wondering like why i'm staring into nothing this is gonna act as a skin barrier so that the dye doesn't get onto the surrounding skin if that makes sense so you just grab a little bit of product and then i kind of just go like this across my lashes and try to get an even oh you guys this is how my lashes are looking i look insane this is not super cute i'm going to wait like three minutes and then i'm going to rinse off my lashes and do um my eyebrows fill your eyebrow in with the dye and that was literally 20 seconds okay and then there we have it i'm gonna go use a gentle face wash and like get in my eyebrows and in my eyelashes just to make sure that there's no remaining dye eyebrows are off eyelashes are off i just explained i'm gonna go wash my face and then i'll be back i'm gonna do a little bit of skincare I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Caudalie Vinyl Pure Skin Perfecting Serum. I've been loving this product. It's the Crave Beauty Oil La La Serum. Okay, I don't really feel like doing much more, so I'm just gonna put my moisturizer on. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Peptide Skin Injection Moisture Infusion Cream. It is such a good moisturizer, especially for the winter time. It is just like so thick and moisturizing. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put some Aquaphor on my eyebrows and eyelashes to kind of moisturize them after dyeing them, because I can't assume or I can't I can't believe that it would be good for your eyelashes. Like, there's definitely chemicals and stuff in hair dye so i feel like i need to moisturize to like protect them from breaking off and like dying i love aquaphor like i actually i'm obsessed with it and put it everywhere pretty much aquaphor you need to sponsor me because i'm sick of doing free promo okay guys i have like 20 minutes to get dressed eat and head to the nail salon so i will see you guys when i'm on my way to get my nails done I haven't decided what i want to get yet so i also need to decide that i'm so bad at picking what i want my nails to look like like i have a friend and i swear two weeks before her appointment she knows already what she's gonna get and it's like i didn't even book my appointment two weeks in advance i'm so confused how you're doing this i think i want to do something fun not only for my birthday but also for puerto rico i might do something colorful even though that probably isn't the most like birthday outside of the nail salon i ate a piece of pizza on the drive here because i was starving and i didn't have time to eat at home it's 2 12 so i'm gonna get in there i've decided on doing something kind of like colorful i think i'm gonna do like five different colors super like out of my comfort zone but i just feel like it'll be fun for puerto rico i also want to make them a lot shorter because these are so freaking long these are like my natural nail length they're like natural length and then they just have the sns dip powder on top done at the nail salon my nails turned out really cute they're kind of giving easter which wasn't really the goal but also it's okay because they also give puerto rico my boyfriend gave me the idea to like look up where we're going in puerto rico so i just looked up where we're going and then i went onto images and literally the first picture i saw was like these pastel buildings and i just picked the colors from that picture i look he looks so scary for some reason um but yeah i'll see you guys later tonight when i decide it's time to fake tan hey guys it's a little bit later 
um, and by a little bit later I mean a lot of it later me and my boyfriend hung out tonight and then I totally forgot that I was supposed to like continue filming and fake tan and everything so it's actually like 1 30 a.m. but I figured it's okay we can still fake tan today I'm gonna use the Bondi sand self tanning foam in the color dark I've used this only once before I like Bondi sands but I don't think I've used the dark like I don't think I've bought the dark in the past and this time I did and I think it's just like a little bit too dark for me like especially in like the dead of winter so I'm gonna try to apply this so that I don't end up committing a hate crime on accident just because last time I used this I think I turned out like very like it looked like I had fake tan on type of vibe and I really don't want that so I'm gonna try to do this um, with caution I have my Nivea lotion back out and I'm gonna put this on all of like my dry areas if that makes sense so if you don't know when you fake tan you're supposed to put lotion on like your elbows your knees around your ankles and wrists just because if there's dry skin the tan can like cling to it and get patchy and like blotchy and we don't want that here okay I love my permanent jewelry like I have this permanent bracelet it's a matching one with my friend and then I have another one on my ankle it's like an anklet and that one's a matching one with our whole friend group and while I love them it makes it damn near impossible to fake tan easily because I feel like I need to avoid it because I don't want to like stain the metal with like fake tan but let's see what happens well, I guess I'm just actually going right over top of the bracelet, and that's perfect. I've not fake tanned in a really long time. I don't know if I just view it as too much work, which is incredibly disgusting of me. Like, it takes 10 minutes to put on, but it's also really annoying because it can, like, stain your bed sheets and your pillowcase. It's just, like, annoying. So I haven't really done it a lot this winter, but I already know that tomorrow I'm going to be feeling like a brand new bitch. And I can't wait. Staring at the blank page before you open up the dirty window. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn the camera off and actually do this because it's really difficult to do with clothes on. I don't know how I always see girls do that in like their TikToks and in, like YouTube videos. I need to be naked for this to work. My entire body is covered in fake tan. This is one that you like can't really tell until the next day. I don't know, maybe you can tell. I can tell, but I don't know if you can tell on the camera. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep since it is is very late now and I'm going to wake up in the morning rinse all this off and then I have a lunch with my mom I don't know what time I should probably figure that out but we're kind of doing like an early birthday lunch just because I'm gonna be gone for my birthday and we're not gonna have really time to do it after I get back because I go right to Puerto Rico after so I'll do my makeup and get all cute for that and then we can see how the glow up kind of turned out when everything is put together I'll see you in the morning good morning Update by the way, my white pillowcase is definitely stained brown from this fake tan and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. Hey guys, my makeup is done. I did super natural makeup today. I mean, not super natural, but I didn't do like a full face. I feel like sometimes I see people in these glow up videos do like super glam full face looks where I like to keep it pretty similar to like my everyday makeup routine just cause that seems more genuine for like seeing how I glow, how I, how I was able to glow up. I think I look tan and I'm glowing and I think my makeup turned out really good. I feel like my makeup just looks better when I'm applying it onto tanned skin skin. Here's the makeup more in direct sunlight. I need to pick out an outfit and be at my mom's house in like 10 minutes. I accidentally laid in bed a little bit longer than I should have today. I want to wear a cute outfit but also not cute. Like I'm trying to be comfortable. This is the outfit that I've decided on. You really can't see it. It's cute but still kind of casual. Um, I really didn't want to wear jeans but I just I didn't. I couldn't figure out anything else that worked. Here she is. Nothing special. She's pretty basic. It's giving spring though which I love and it's like 50 degrees out today which is 
is so warm for here. But yeah, this is pretty much the completed glow up. I always, I say this in every glow up, but I feel this in every glow up, so I always feel like I need to say it. It feels so weird ending these videos because it's like, oh, well, I'm ready, so the video's over. <laughs> but the makeup's done, the hair is done. I didn't do anything special. Like, I didn't want to curl it or straighten it or anything. I kind of just used, like, my heated round brush and kind of added some, like, blowout type of texture or whatever. I feel like this was successful. I feel better about myself, and that was really the goal. I also feel ready to go on birthday trip number one tomorrow, and then I'll be gone for two days, and then I come back, have, like, one day at home, and then I head to Puerto Rico for birthday trip number two. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love doing glow up videos. It also just, like, pulls me back to, like, two years ago because I used to do these all the time. I think that they're super fun, so I hope you loved it. Um, and if not, just be nice. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love you. Bye-bye.